Omar, there's lots of different devices out there. Right? You, you mentioned a couple of them. Uh, I think Srini mentioned a couple too. If um, in your practice, do you have all of them available or do you have a couple? In my practice, I, we use mainly Phoenix, uh, Rotorex, and CSI. And, uh, and, and, you know, everyone has their own reason to use their device. For, for me personally, we use a lot of IVIS, so we have an incentive uh, to kind of get the Phoenix uh, catheters as like, you know, in like a bundle package or, you know, things like that. So in the OBL, you're always trying to figure out how to get certain devices at a cheap price and that, and you want something that was safe and that works. So for us, uh, Phoenix was a really good choice in terms of ease of ease of use, usability and uh, safety. Uh, it has a pretty low embolization rate. So, you know, in the OBL, um, I was encountering a lot of ISR, you know, um, where mm -hmm. we didn't have laser, uh, available to us at the time. So I was using Jetstream back in the day and that's like a seven French sheet and you'd need like a filter right. wire and things like that. Yeah. So Rotor, when Rotorex came, that was a game changer for us. So in a sense, yeah. it's like a lower profile, six French, uh, but I use it a lot for ISR. Uh, and, um, and then for CSI, I usually use like the micro crown and treat the really mm -hmm. calcified arteries below the knee. So that's, that's kind of my, that's kind of the main three that I use in my personal practice. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, you know, in our practice, again, it's, it's Rotorex and CSI. That's really, um, our, our practice is kind of centered around those. Srini, what about you? Yeah. I mean, I think that's a good model. I mean, obviously, you know, we can't have everything right. And, and sometimes yeah. when you have all of them, you start getting, there's a confusion that happens in terms of well, when do I use these? What, what's my protocol? What's my algorithm? And so, you know, I kind of agree hundred percent. I think below the knee, I think orbital atherectomy works real well. You know, I think it's a great device for that. I think the other one to have, you know, you got to be able to treat ISR like Omar said. And I think Rotorex, BD Rotorex makes good sense, especially their larger catheters have some level of aspiration, right? And then uh, laser is good too, whether it's the Philips laser or the angiodynamics laser, obviously the larger uh, catheters uh, on, on the angio D laser had some aspiration ability as well. So for us, you know, it's been laser, you know, above knee and CSI, uh, or orbital atherectomy below the knee. I think, you know, if you can't get laser, I like the BD Rotorex device as well, you know, you know, full disclosure, I'm not a consultant. I have no financial interest in BD at all. And so I think, uh, that's, a, that's another good device, but you know, again, you talk to different operators and Omar knows this well, you talk to different people and they'll tell you, no, I like to use this device because it's the best device for this. I like to use this the best. I think, again, we don't have any data. And so I think it's very difficult to say one's better than the other. Yeah. I think that's, that's the problem a lot with endovascular. There's so many tools sometimes to do. I mean, I remember I struggled when yeah. I just started with doing um, peripheral vascular disease and people are telling me I use this wire, that wire, this wire, that wire, this wire is the best, right? And then you get a little confused as to what to do. So with anything, what I've always done is just stick with, you know, something and learn it well and, and learn how the feeling is. So like how Omar and you mentioned Rotorex, you guys have had really good, you know, results. You keep on using it. You learn the different, you know, peculiarities of that laser. We have, I don't use it that often. So now I, I don't know all the peculiarities and all of that. I think CSI, you know, I, I always tell people who ask me, what's the one, you know, if you need one, you know, type of atherectomy, you should definitely have, I think you need CSI in those calcified tibials a lot. I, I feel like that's been a great bailout. 